Rob Nyer from Just a Bit Outside and Fox Sports. How are you, Rob? I'm well, thanks, Brian. Rob, I know you, you've been writing about this stuff for years. You follow the, the game as a historian, as a sabermetrician. Uh, I threw all that stuff out there about, you know, not panicking about, oh, no, we need more runs. We have to be exciting for the kids out there. But you tell us, you study this, what does need to be fixed, offense versus defense in baseball, if anything? Well, really, the, the you can tinker around with the, with the defenses and the – uh, limiting glove sizes or whatever you want, it really comes down to the strikeouts. And you know this, strikeout, strikeouts for in the 80s were around 15% of all plate appearances. Now it's around 20% and rising every year. Um, that trend, there's no reason to think that's going to stop. Now, yes, you're right, it will stop somehow eventually. It's just hard to see how or when that, that'll happen. And I think that you really can't arrest the decline in run production until you arrest the decline in in batted balls and and uh, uh, and strikeouts. Well, here's one part of the the issue. Then, can that be changed by the players? You know, hitting differently. Because again, hitting in the 20s and 30s, guys has brought the bat right across the plane. It was a thicker bat. They were they were trying not to strike out. Is that unrealistic to think that players can change this? I think that it's it's it, it, they could do something. They could arrest or they could slow the increase in strikeouts. I don't think they can change it. Jose Altuve is not going out there and trying to hit a, hit a home run every time. Mm -hmm. He still strikes out a lot more than Ichiro did in his prime or certainly Tony Gwynn in his prime. Um, the problem is that the, the, the pitchers throw so hard and the strike zone is so effectively big that even if you use a big bat and you just try to put the ball in play, you're still going to strike out 75, 80 times a season. A uh, strike zone, would that change things? I know Bill James has written uh, on Bill James Online saying those who are tinkering with the strike zone don't understand the problem. Um, is he right on that? I, I, I guess I don't understand the problem then. What, what do you think? Uh, I don't either. I, I think I would love to, for Bill to have explained that a little more. Um, I think what he would suggest is that if you tinker with the strike zone, yes, you might change the numbers a little bit, but batters will still be trying to do the same things, that is hit home runs and draw walks, Pitchers will still be trying to do the same thing, which is strike guys out. Um, so, yes, it'll make a difference, but that trend might still go upward, the strikeout mm -hmm. trend. Pace of play, again, baseball is looking at this very seriously. I think this is huge. What should be done? Well, look, first do the easy things. You've already got 602A, 602B, 602C, 804. This is all about keeping the batters in the box and not allowing the pitcher to take 20 20 plus seconds between pitches. There's no reason for those things. They don't have to happen. They just have been allowed to happen. You start there, and then you can do some other things. Uh, yeah, I think if guys stay in the box, it's kind of a cultural thing, isn't it? I mean, in the, again, I'll go back to, I don't know, even the 70s, late 70s, guys stayed in the box. The pace was different, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's been a huge change. The batters getting out of the box and the pitchers taking more time. Um, that just didn't happen nearly as often back in the 70s, the 80s. But this is a relatively recent phenomenon where I don't know if everybody wants to be the center of attention. They think they need to focus. They probably have been taught that you need to visualize. I think a lot of it is about visualization mm. and you know taking a deep breath. All those things are great in, in, an, in the abstract, sure. We want, those, we want everybody to be able to focus, but it's not really about them. It's about us as, 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 as fans and as viewers, and that's not good for, for the fans. I have a question for you on your Max Scherzer uh, column in that he doesn't necessarily make the Nationals better because the rotation was already that good. But do, if you do get all those good Scherzer innings, doesn't it push other good innings like Tanner Roark's innings into the bullpen and then maybe force out your weakest innings? Oh, sure. I mean, uh, that will happen, and, and uh, he'll be great in the bullpen probably, and that's 60 innings or 70 innings if he's healthy, a uh, Roark, and, and that he'll probably be tremendous. And so it makes him a little better. My point isn't that the, the Nationals aren't better with Scherzer than without him. It's that they're probably not better this year than they were last year. They won 96 games last year. It's really hard to be better than that. And the Nationals are probably in that same range now, probably in the uh, 92 to 96 win range. I, I go to 103 every year, and it, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just easier. Hey, 103 wins, and, and if I'm ever right, it'll really be something. Hey, right. and you, you have a latest column out there now. It just got up there on just a bit outside. Bill Murray in the minor leagues. I guess the summer he was filming Meatballs, right? He was in the minors. Tell us about that. You know, I never knew this. I just I couldn't, couldn't believe that this sort of somehow got by me all these years, and I 
when I found out, I just had to do some research and figure out how it happened. I talked to a bunch of his teammates, talked to his manager. Uh, Bill Murray uh, spent about a week with the Grays Harbor Loggers in the Northwest League in 1978. Actually got into two games, got a single, his first at bat. A few days later, in Walla Walla, Washington, uh, struck out on three pitches. Uh, he wound up getting a championship ring with that team. I just think it's a tremendous story. Um, all right, Grays Harbor Loggers. What level of yep. baseball is that? Independent league, what is that? Well, it was an independent team, but it was in the Class A Northwest League, which, of course, survives to this day with teams oh. out here in Oregon and, and, and Washington. All right, good stuff. Again, just a bit outside. You can get much more. I know people talking about Saturday Night Live and the special they had on last night all through the day. Great stuff on Bill Murray and his love of baseball. Rob Nyer of Fox Sports. Rob, always good talking to you. Thank you. Great to be here. Thanks.